Okay, so welcome everyone to Fort Meow. It's a game I found on Steam. It's a bit of a tower defense game. I've already played a little bit of it just to get a feel for what it was about, and it's it's pretty cute actually. And um, yeah, so I guess we'll start a new game here. Yep. Dropped off in haste by her mother. Nia stared up at the gigantic house looming in front of her. She usually spent her vacations here with her grandparents. She peered into the darkness. It was kind of strange that the front door was already open and there didn't seem to be anyone home. Her mother had told her not to expect Grandad to be around. He was due to go into hospital for surgery the day before she arrived. Perhaps that was why no one was around. Two flights of stairs later, Nia had arrived at the final steps up to the attic. During her holidays, she liked to spend most of her time exploring here. She found some solitude in the attic and enjoyed spending her time rummaging around in the mountains of family relics. She found something new on every visit. This time, however, something caught her eye almost immediately. It had her grandfather's name scribbled on the front cover. If there ever was a contest for finding the most interesting item in the attic, she'd just won. And so she sat down and began to read. So many cats! Everywhere! Okay, and this is where we begin. So we need to build a fort out of furniture to defend ourselves against cats. Alright, so we have currently one here and one here. Our time is up here. It's currently 70 out of 70 and our items are down here. Now, our items from when I first played a little bit on my own, um, they cost time to put down, of course, which we'll deduct up in the corner here. And you just click and drag and put them down wherever you want. Of course, your time will be deducted. And each item not only will cost time, but it also has a certain amount of hit points. So cats can only hit an item so many times before it will break. In the case of the sofas here, or the chairs anyway, um, they can be hit two times before they break. In my opinion, that's a really poorly made chair, so... Alright, so we'll put two chairs on each side and we'll stick a mattress on top. A mattress can be also hit two times. Alright, so we have now ten minutes. I think it's minutes. Anyway, ten left out of seventy. Uh, let's, let's defend. One and two. Okay. Now we've unlocked a new cat type, which just a cat that we dealt with, and of course a new chapter in our little book here. Let's check out the new cat. There seems to be hundreds of these guys. They seem quite relentless, but don't do much damage to my fort. I think I'll be able to read in peace with relative ease. Okay. Oh. I forgot. Let's, let's read the chapter in the book here. Okay, so we have... This is a grandfather's book, of course, and here is his little uh, ID card, a medal, a paper from the University of New Langdon. Okay. Back in my heyday, I worked as a scientist at the University of New Langdon. We ran a busy laboratory in the basement of one of the old boarding house buildings on the campus. By we, I mean myself and my good friend Tom Reen. I first met Tom when I started working as a junior scientist at the university. He and I eventually convinced the director to let us run our own operation. Some say it wasn't the best decision the director made, but we only had a few minor incidents, mostly involving fire. A fair amount of our work involved the dissection and study of animals. My official field of research was based in kinesiology. I 
probably very horribly butchered that. Anyway, that didn't stop us, however, from using the lab for some off-the-record experiments. Okay, and this little paper here, it's a little bit hard to read, but it's basically um, awarding this medal to her grandfather for um, his service to the university and wishing him the best with his retirement. Okay, let's continue here. Alright, and some more cats are getting ready to pounce. Now we have two on each side. So let's go ahead and put two mattresses up here, and that uses up all of our time. And here they come! Oop, collected some too. We got an additional ten minutes. Okay, and what did we collect here? got some stamps okay so apparently we can collect stamps okay now we have four cats incoming on this side and three on that side so let's do the two mattresses thing again let's uh oops oops um that didn't work too well let's put that back in here do that. Okay, let's defend. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it worked, actually. Okay. Woof. For a moment, I thought I failed that. Okay, we got a new chapter in our book. Okay, so now we have a paper from the New Langdon Hospital basically just goes over that let's see it oh, looks like her grandfather of course is in the hospital he's had some issues and they're contacting a specialist I've always hated visiting doctors I know they're there to help but I always feel like I can diagnose my own symptoms and treat accordingly today was different I have no idea what hit me or when there was just a weird tingling sensation and then I blacked out all I can remember is waking up in the hospital bed with Martha, sitting in the chair next to me, looking very worried. The following few days were pretty terrible. I think I managed to squeeze in more doctor's appointments than I've had in the past 20 years into a single week. I'm all booked to see a specialist to see if they can figure out what's wrong with me. I figure it's just going to be the same as my dad. It runs in the family. I should be worrying about my health, but all I can think about is what would happen if I was to leave Martha suddenly without getting to say goodbye. It pains me to say this, but she just wouldn't cope by herself. Unfortunately, her age has caught up with her, and she needs a lot of help doing even simple tasks around the house. On the day I came home from the hospital, I found this flower on my pillow. It's the same type of flower that we had at our wedding. It really struck home just how much she cares. That's really sweet. Hey. I'm gonna need more stuff. But I'll never be able to lift anything up these stairs. Oh, she's got an idea. Okay, so we got a little schematic here for a move it bot. Okay, so it picks up stuff. Alright, so now we can explore the house. Alright, so it's a really big house. Time to find some more things for my fort. Maybe one of the rooms below will have something I can use. Okay. Let's go down here. Alright, so we got all this stuff in here. Let's go in here. Maybe I can find a spare light bulb somewhere. Maybe. I can't see a thing. Smells like a million cats. Alright, so. This is the only room we can get anything in right now, I suppose. Alright, so we have a TV. That'll cost 25 of our time, and it has two hit points. Gain 5% battery charge when destroyed. Okay. Alright, so there's a lamp, which will cost 30 and has only one hit point. Any cat within the lamp light has their damage reduced by 0 0.5. Beanbag. Cost 20. 
It has one hit point. Protects against fatter cats. And we have a coffee table, which will cost 35 and has four hit points. Tough to destroy, yet great at holding drinks. Now, all of them cost the same amount of energy in our little machine house, which is 100. So we may as well go for the biggest piece here. And let's take that with us. This should be enough for now. Let's see how it goes. Okay. So we still got our two chairs here. Let's put down a mattress. Down that. Yep. Stick that there. The reason I'm sticking that there, I have a new type of cat over here that I've dealt with in my trial of the game alone. And it destroys basically the first item it hits. No matter how many hit, hit points it has. And the broom is the cheapest item to get, so I'll put that down. And then we have two normal cats on that side and three on that side. So let's hope my port here is good enough and let's defend. Yep, there he goes. Okay, and there went all the cats. Got another 10 minutes, and we have a new type of cat. Now I know why all Grandma's melons are missing from her garden. This guy loves pouncing low and fast. Good old melon head. Yep. Got a hard head. I swear I heard the doorbell. Yep, got a, got a package. Oh, a package! Who could that be from? I think the Move It bot could easily handle something that small without much battery charge. Besides, it will save me walking down those hundreds of steps and back again. You're a lazy kid. Alright, cat's getting ready to pounce, and we have a package. As my name written on the front, I wonder what's inside. Okay. Oop. We got a ball. What's this do? Bounces away a pouncing cat during defending mode. Okay, so just drag it into the path of an incoming cat. Okay, so we'll just leave that there. And let's do this again. There. I'm actually gonna grab this thing. That because I have four coming on this side and three on this side. So let's hope that's enough. Let's defend. Yep, there went my cushion. No, 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 no. Ah, oof. Okay. And we got 70 out of 120 and a 90% battery. So we're almost there. And we got a new chapter. During the time I spent in bed recovering, I began to think of a way I could help Martha if the worst was to suddenly happen and I disappeared from her life. As soon as I got home, I started to monitor her daily routine. I wrote down the rooms she used the most during the day, where she spent most of her time, and the tasks that gave her the most difficulty. From the data I collected, I created a map of the house and decided to focus my efforts on the rooms and tasks that, in my opinion, needed to be addressed. Then it hit me. Why didn't I just build a machine that helped with everything? I had the years of experience and knowledge. All I needed were the materials, tools, and a load of testing. Alright, so this is his schematic of the house. And then we have a locket in the photo over here. I gave this locket to Martha a few years ago. She lost the key and gave it back to me to open, which I still have to figure out. Okay. Alright, and I think for now I'll leave it at this. I'm not sure if I'll upload any more videos. Um, I guess it depends just how much people like this or not. And um, yeah, I will see you all later.